Okay, so now, bookmarks. If this particular dashboard, which is actually a representation of any dashboard that you want to build, assuming that someone, a user who is not Power BI inclined, came to click here, yeah, and doesn't know how to go back. She, he or she has done everything possible. It's not going back. How do you solve this problem for the end user? You need to create a reset button that will be able to bring everything that you have done back to the original. Yeah? Bear in mind that not everybody who is going to use your dashboard has the Power BI know-how to do what you are doing. So you present your dashboard and that's a very typical interview question. What, how do you develop your dashboard so that people who don't have technological know-how will be able to work it? You do it in such a way, you develop your, da your dashboard in such a way that even if you don't have a technical know-how, you'll be able to understand and use it by introducing things like the reset button using bookmark. Okay. When you come to view on your ribbon up here, you see bookmark selection. These are your two main tabs that you are going to use to perform those miracles. Yeah. Let's come back to home. What I'm now going to do simply is to insert uh, a shape. This time, I will insert this one. I would turn it into a small shape. Let me put it here for the sake of what we are doing. And then I'll go to style. If I want to change the color, I can change the color. If I want shadow, I can do that. But this time, I want text. Yeah. Select it. And then I would say reset. Okay. Now, this shape is there. I don't have to do anything to it. The shape is there. Now, if I come to view, let me collapse these two. And then I select selection. On this particular page, this is everything that I have. So if I should select this reset shape, you see it has selected it here. So now, I want I want to be sure if Mr. Sam is here. So now what happens is when you right click this, hey, I'm lying. <laughs> when you use the three options here, ah okay, to be to, to be, just double click it. Yes, uh -huh. Imagine Mr. Sam's computer when you double click it it will give you the option to rename yeah um, so for me not to get lost i'll rename this as the reset button so that i know the shape that i'm working with um, because if if you have got so many shapes on it you see shape, 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 shape. And you, you would have to click it before you see that particular shape. But if you have renamed it this way, you know that this is the reset button. Okay? Then I'll come to bookmark. You see there are no bookmarks here. What bookmark does is that it would capture whatever you have selected 
on the dashboard and then you can use it as an action. Yeah? So, if you check the selection here, you see that everything is visible. If I should click on this sign, it will hide. Which means you don't see it anymore. If I should click on it again, it's visible. Which means you can see it. So if I create a bookmark now, all I am saying is, when this bookmark that I have created, when it is effected, I want to see everything here. If I don't want to see this, I will hide it. And then I will say that this bookmark that I have created, if it is effected, I want to see everything except the total donation. You get it? But this time, I need it when someone click on this reset, I want the person to see this. Everything you are seeing on the dashboard, that's what I want the person to see. Okay? So then, I will come and I will say, add bookmark. I don't want bookmark two. So, this bookmark, if I click here, I can rename it. And I will say that this is reset or bookmark. Yeah. This, as I have created, has picked up everything from here by default. Now, if I want to amend this bookmark, let's say I want to get rid of this. When I click here, and then I can't see this card again, what I need to do is now come to more options and then say updates. And then the bookmark will be updated to what you are seeing right now. But now I want to see everything. So I will just come again. I will say updates. Now, when I click on the visual that I put there, this time I need to bring my formatting pane. You see actions here. I need to activate the action. Then I would expand the action and I'll say that when this one is clicked, I want it to respond to a bookmark. What bookmark do you want it to respond to? I want it to respond to the reset all bookmark. Now, once this is done, if I should undo all these and then come and click here, if I should hold my control key down, because if you are in the developer section, you need to hold your control key down for these things to work. But once you publish it, you don't hold, you don't have to hold the control key down. So if I should hold my control key down and then click on the reset, it should bring it back. Any questions, please? <laughs> Mr. Sam. <laughs> okay, I'll come again. Don't worry. I know that the first instance, you won't get it. So I'll come again. But do you have any specific questions? Hey, no question. Mr. Sam, you are using the computer. Please, come again. Come again. Uh, I'll come again. Don't worry. I'll come again. Mm -hmm. Mr. K. Yeah, Patrick. Do you get it? Yeah, it's okay. If you go back again. <laughs> <laughs> Princess. Yes, sir. How's it going? Okay. You sure? Yes. Okay, let's do it again. So, this time, um, uh, good. This time, 
I am going to introduce something else. So let's go to insert and then bring out a shape. I want the shape. I will put the shape here and then I will do this. Yeah. Mm. Then I will go on the internet and then I'll go and then look for a home button. So when I go to images, I'll choose this one. And then I will say, save image. Let it come to download. I'll call it home and I'll say save. So then if I should come to images here and then I go to download, my home is here. I can bring it and then put my home button here. Okay. Okay. So then let me put this here. Okay. So if I come to view and then I go to selection, you realize that the slicer has now come under the image. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to rename this, call it S image, which means the image that has the slicer. And then I will move the S image down under the slicer so that The slicer. Do you have any other slicer again? Let's bring it down, down, down to everything. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the S image. This is, this is home. This is home. So you see the confusion if you, if you don't name your, so this is shape. So, slice shape. Yeah. So, I will move this slice shape down so that the slicer will come on top of it. Yeah. Okay. So, then, this is what I want to do. When the home button is clicked, I don't want to see these two. Yeah, when the home button is clicked, I don't want to see these two. I just want to see everything apart from these two. So then I would go to bookmark and then when I say reset all, everything will come. Yeah, so here, let me just update it for the purpose of what we are doing. And then I will create another bookmark. And then I will rename this bookmark as home. As home. Now, this bookmark, when it is clicked, I don't want to see the slice ship. And I don't want to see the slicer. So then I'll come and update it. Yeah. I want to see everything except these two. So I will come to my visualization pane. I'll come and select this button and I would action it. And I'll say that when this thing is clicked, 
I want to effect a bookmark and I want to effect the home bookmark that I have set, which means I am not seeing these two. Yeah. So then, if reset is done, I have this. But when the home is clicked, this is gone. Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. Sam, which part? <laughs> which part again? Now, mm -hmm. what you are doing is uh, on bookmark. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm using the bookmark and the selection together. So hide uh, some of the... Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the essence of bookmark? In visualization. So, if you want to um, differentiate, you want to add more, but you want to show visuals as at when. If you want to create a reset button. Okay. Yeah. You want to manipulate your uh, dashboard using buttons. You can use so bookmark can be used to do almost so many things. If you if you know how to use your bookmark, you can use your bookmark for so many things. Yeah. Number two, page navigation. Page navigation. Now, this is a page navigation because it will take you to the last page before coming here. But let's assume you hide all these things. You don't show these things. But you want to bring page navigations. I will show you two ways. Page navigations that you will use so that the end user would, at a click, go to the next page. Just like we inserted this, let us go to insert and then get the shape. Ah, uh, undo. Put it here. Go to style. Go to text. Go and name it. You say uh, detail, yeah, okay. So if I come to action, I turn it on, I expand my action. What type of action do I want? Now, the previous one we did, the action we wanted was a bookmark, but this time, we want page navigation. Which destination are you looking for? We, we want to go to the details. Now, as this is done, when I hold my control key down and I click on this, it will take me to the details. If I click on this, it will take me back. The same way, let me copy and paste. The same way, I can come here and then say that the text, I want this one to go to a website. Yeah. So as I have done that, as I have done that, I will um, I will go to actions and then I will go and change it. Instead of page navigation, I want it to go to a web URL. What is the web URL? I want it to go to HTTPS. This one you don't have to memorize. I'm, I'm a 
the web designer. That's why I remember these things. You don't have to. Uh, patmarktech dot co dot uk. But can you always um copy and paste? Yeah, you can always copy and paste that one. Uh, uh. Yeah. So once you have done this, if I should hold my control key down and click on this, it should take us to patmarktech. Mm -hmm. You get it? Okay, come again. So, page navigation, everything rests with the actions, Mr. Sam. Once you have been able to set your bookmark, you just come to the action. What action do you want to do? Do you want to go back? Do you want to set up a bookmark? Do you want to do a drill through? Do you want to do page navigation? Q and A. Uh, web, apply or clear. Yeah. Okay. All this is under bookmark. No, all these are, are under actions that you can make the shape that you have select. You have selected the actions that you can. Make it do. Where do you see bookmark? It's under. Is, is it? It's under view. View. Okay. So when you come on view, bookmark is here. Selection is here. Yeah. No is that okay? Yeah. The more the more we use it, the more we know it. That is it. That's that's the whole gig. The more we use it, the more we can work on it. Um, so I have done bookmark, done page navigations. Um, so if someone should click here, and then we can go to home and see this. So what we can do? Let's bring this back. And now we are going to publish this. Okay, okay. Uh, let's put it on desktop. New folder. And then let's call this trial. Okay. So um let's put it in. Success, and then come here. Let's go to Sam's workspace, and then trial should be here. It is new, just as we published. So now, if I should click on home, it's gone. If I should click on reset, it's back. If I should click here, click on reset, it's back. Home, it's gone. Detail, back. Website, obviously, you know where it's going to take us to. And that's how it works. That's how it works. Any question, please? So why is the website? Why is he going to Batmate? Okay. Because that's what we put inside. Because oh. that's what what, what uh, Patrick said, the URL, website URL. Mm -hmm. huh? If you have if you have any other URL, so depending on what you want to see, 
You can just put it inside. Any question, please? Hey, ask questions, Joe. <laughs> ask questions, please. 